In North China's Shanxi province stands an almost thousand-year-old wooden pagoda, the second Moody Pagoda of the Fogun Temple, also known as the ancient wooden pagoda in ancient county. The ravages of time have caused the pagoda to tilt. Conservationists are now figuring out how to ride it, and it's not as easy as it seems. CGTN reporter Hu Zhao takes us there. The Yingshen Wooden Pagoda was built in 1056 during the Liao Dynasty in China. It's the world's oldest and tallest wooden structure, around 66 meters high, equal to a 23-story building of today. Over the past nine centuries, it has survived several earthquakes and even artillery attacks. The pagoda embodies the wisdom of ancient craftsmen entirely made of wood, but are able to stand firm against the tests of time. The structural style still inspires the architects in China today. The experts say its ingenious structure makes it even more stable than modern buildings. The structure is resistant to both earthquakes and wind, while modern buildings can only be resistant to either of the two. Experts are doing related experiments on a steel-structured replica of the pagoda to see how they can improve the stability of modern buildings. Look a little closer. However, you can see the pagoda has tilted. A column on the second floor on its southwest side leaning by 57 centimeters. In the 1930s, the pagoda was placed under maintenance. The mud walls and diagonal bracings in them were replaced with the present wooden doors and windows. Experts say the move reduced the structure's stability. This, plus shocks from bombings in past wars, have caused Insane Pagoda to tilt to one side. The last structural reinforcement was carried out from the 1970s to 1980s. In 2002, experts raised four repair plans, but these were all shelved, so the pagoda slowly continues to tilt. Professor Yong is one of the experts devoted to preserving the pagoda. He explained why the repairs were suspended. It's the only single wooden structure in the world. It takes time to completely understand its structural traits. There was a lack of accurate data of its structural deformation, which is required before undertaking any form of safe and efficient repair. Experts also have different concepts of how to repair it. No consensus has yet been reached. Professor Yong says they have been collecting data on the Yingxian Pagoda structure since 2008. Our monitoring methods keep improving with advanced technologies. We've achieved some good results and a clearer understanding of its tilting. This will enable us to make a targeted plan of protection and repair. However, Professor Yong says it will take some time before the actual repair can take place. Continuous monitoring and research are still required to ensure minimal intervention in addressing the pagoda's tilt, so that once they begin rehabilitating it, the pagoda remains faithful as possible to its original state nearly a thousand years ago. Hu Chao, CGTN, Shanxi Province.